So say you did the calculation and you find out the patient has got a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. You got it. You said, hey, I figured it out. Patient's got high anion gap metabolic acidosis. You think that's going to make me happy? Yeah. Actually, no, it will not make me happy. I'm going to ask you, great, what's the next step? If a patient's got a high anion gap metabolic acidosis, you figured out one part of the story. Does that mean the patient does not have a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis yeah. along with it? It can be. It can be. So you still, there's never a situation when you'll actually in real life have a single acid base disorder. Typically you'll have two, three, four problems happening at the same time. So the moment you say high anion gap metabolic acidosis, your next step is to see does this patient also have a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis or does the patient also have a metabolic alkalosis? How are you going to figure that out? 